So what is a time lapse? It's a series of frames shot over a period of time. To give you an example, normal video is shot usually at 25 frames per second. That's what gives it a real time look and captures real time movement. With a time lapse video, what you can do is capture a certain amount of frames. So for example, you can capture 10 frames per second and you can spread the video out over a longer period. And that's why we can get this really nice dramatic speeded up effect because you're not capturing that many frames per second. Now time-lapse video is not suitable for everyday shooting, so you wouldn't just go out and film anything on the time-lapse function. The best use when capturing something like a landscape and work particularly well with sunsets, clouds and busy areas. They can look great as part of a video when edited together and give real dramatic effects as well. To access your time-lapse function on your phone, go to your camera and scroll through to find the time-lapse setting. Now to capture a good time-lapse, you want to set up your phone properly. The key to a good time-lapse is keeping your phone steady. So you might want to invest in a small tripod and grip for your phone. You can get these very cheaply, but they can work brilliant as stabilization tools. If you don't have any extra equipment, then just use something to steady your phone. So prop it up against something. I wouldn't advise to do a time-lapse handheld. Now the longer you film a time-lapse for, the better it's gonna look. You might wanna make sure that you've got enough battery and memory space to shoot a good time-lapse. As I've mentioned, time-lapse video really isn't for everyday shooting. It's something that you might shoot now and again when you've got a beautiful sunset, nice clouds, or a really busy, interesting scene. So to get your time-lapse videos looking good, you're gonna need your phone to be stable, and you're also gonna need a little bit of patience and spend a bit of time on recording these things. So go out there, have a play around, and see how you can incorporate time-lapse videos into your everyday shooting.